Great. Shit, where's my resolutions? Damn it, what am I looking for? From Elena. Four dash. Hello. 
<laughs> Meet you. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you for reminding me. I, that's what I meant to say. Bye. Um, oh, I hope I was muted. You weren't. Larry, are you here? Are you with the iPhone yes. 15 Pro? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep, I am. I just wanted to make sure I have a quorum. Okay. Um, if everyone is ready, we can start. Um, Elena, you're here. Looks like she's still trying to get connected. Okay. Okay. We'll give her a couple more minutes. Is anyone else joining us, Jimmy? Oh, I didn't know you're here. I thought Kevin was saying uh, that you're not here yet. Um, I know my grandma is not going to join us. 
um, and Barsati did not answer me. So, but um, I believe I do have a quorum because I'm here. Yes. Larry's here, and I believe Rolf. I haven't seen him yet. Rolf, you here? Yeah, Rolf is on the. I'm here. In... I can see you. Rolf okay, was perfect. here before before anyone else. Thank you. <laughs> I was first. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so October 11, um, Metro District meeting. Um, we're going to start with the roll call. Um, Elena, would you be nice and do that for us? Yep. Chairman Shemi Shlomo. Present. Oh. Director Michael Graham. Uh, he's excused. He's excused. All right, Director Larry Fox. Here. Secretary Michael Bersati, excused. Uh, I believe so. I didn't hear from him. All right. Treasurer Rolf, Rolf Jacobson. Rolf. Here. Is he muted? He's here. Okay. Here. Okay. Thank you. Um, approval of the agenda. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda as is. Is there I'll a second? I'll second that. Go ahead. All in favor say aye. 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 That would be three to zero. Larry second. Um, all right. We got to approve the regular. Uh, meeting minutes for August 9. Um, I was not here. I'm not sure we can approve this uh, with me not being there, Elena. Right. What, were you able to either review the, the video or read the minutes? Yes, I did watch the video. Okay, so if that's the case and you're comfortable with making or voting on them to approve, then we can go on ahead and do that. Okay. 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 Uh, anybody wants to make a motion? Yeah, I'll make the motion that we approve the minutes. A second. Is um, is there a second? Right. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 That would be three to zero. Um, reports, parking report, Kevin. Overall revenue for both lots in September was 40234 that's an increase of $1,656 year over year. Transactions were 6557. That's an increase of 131 year over year. Uh, permit sales were 220. That's an increase of 60 year over year. There were 55 total citations between the two lots. That's an increase of 48 year over year. And I can break down into the individual lots if you'd like me to. Uh, what, what, Kevin, see. what what kind of citations are they? Uh, they range anywhere from not paying to park to um, registration tickets. Huh. Okay. And is there information, Kevin, about how many citations are actually being paid? Do you know what's the percentage of you know the ones that you're writing and the ones that are actually being paid? Um, I can look into that. We do have an active collection agency right now as well. So tickets that aren't paid within that 30 days go to collections and they are um, actively collected. So any of that money that they pay to the collection agency will be broken out and given to the Metro Board. Okay, thank you. All right. Also, Kevin, what... How how many do you know how many of those are for people not paying to park? I'm gonna run that report right now, Larry, and I can get you guys that info if you want to move on to Nicole. Okay. All right, thanks. Yep. Thank you. Um any other questions for uh Kevin? I, I had another question. It wasn't about the report, but um I'll, I'll let you um uh, I'll let you work on that Kevin for a minute um we can 
move on to uh, Nicole, if everyone's okay with that. Okay, does Finance anyone, report. Okay, does hi, anyone Nicole. want to... Hi, good more, um, afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon already. Um, let's... We want to review the budget, and this is through, um, of course, September for actuals. And I made those two changes that we discussed last month, which was an increase in the kiosk because of replacements, um, the change in the city services, and... I can't remember. Did I can't remember if we had another change or not? Um, not that I. It was just those two. Well, we, we raised we raised the the salaries a little bit. The salaries I I but those I had in the budget already for you guys. To okay. This month. I just made those two changes for. Yeah, after I think our discussion. so. And if there were any other changes that uh, needed to be entered before we um, accept this budget, let me know. Okay. Now we we vote on this this month or next month for the final. Uh, we can do it either way. I prepared the resolutions. I did not. Um, I had to. I didn't have them done yesterday in order to get them loaded, but they are done today if we want to review those and approve those. I do need to uh, show you the conservation trust fund budget also. I think if it's not a time issue, if we can do it next month, uh, I'm okay with that as long as Nicole is fine with that. Absolutely. Okay, thank okay. you. As long as it meets our time requirements. Uh, let's move over to Conservation Trust. This will be pretty easy. So we had 6,000 in the budget for this year, just in case. I took that out, put it at zero, and moved it to $6,000 to spend for next year, which will okay. leave us a balance. I couldn't leave 6,000 in for both years or I couldn't put it in for next year. We didn't have enough money. Okay. Okay, pretty easy. Um, let's see the... I'm, I'm gonna start with a Word document. Let me sh see if that will share. Can you see the Word document? It starts with the budget message? Yes. Yes. So this would be the resolution showing us what uh, 2023 and 2024 proposed would be and the ending numbers. So we'll have this um, submitted for next month. And once we approve the budget, we'll do it by resolution. This will be the resolution. Um, uh, this is for conservation trust fund, same thing. Acknowledgement of the mill levy, which is 0.44 mills. And this is how the fund balance would run out if we spent all of the money that we planned on this year, still, which we won't. Um, these are how the fund balances will go. Then when we do the budget next time we'll do the adjusted fund balance and we will adjust it. So do we have any questions on this part of the presentation? No. Um, just about the $6,000, uh, Nicole, what, what, happened, what did you do with the $6,000? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Okay, so we had it in the budget for 2023. We had six oh, dollars to be spent, and we haven't spent it yet. So I'm going to say gotcha. we're not going to spend it this year. We'll spend it next year. Otherwise, I can't put it in the budget because then I wouldn't have, I would have a negative fund balance. Totally understood. Okay, now I now I totally understand what you. It did. helps okay. when you see this. 
if I put $6,000 in here, we wouldn't have anything left over. I got you. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I guess okay. That, that's all I have for you today. Any questions, Larry, Rolf? No. 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 Um, okay. And we had enough questions for Nicole last month. Thank you, Larry. I'm glad. <laughs> so, do we want to right. approve approve it or or wait another month? Well, we'll do it next month. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you for the report, Nicole. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Um, do you do you need me to stop by and uh, sign those? By the way. I want to wait for the resolution to be approved by the board. And then, yes, I absolutely would like you to come in and sign that. Okay, you got it. Thank Sounds you. good. Uh, we'll do that on then after the next meeting then. Thank you so much for that. Um, go back. Um, Kevin, you got a couple of numbers for us? Thanks, Nicole. I do. Uh, the Schmishy lot, 12 of those tickets have been paid. Three of those tickets are in appeal. The remainder are out in, have not been paid yet or gone to collections because they haven't gone over that 30 days. Um, so we have 15 of the 23 have either been paid or in appeal status. A Wichita lot, 10 have been paid and none were in appeal status. So there are still 12 outstanding tickets that have not yet been paid or sent to collections. How, how many of those were all for just not paying? Four total between the two lots. Just four of them out of 55 that were for not paying? Uh, I, I didn't mean, look for, at that. For, That's what's been paid. Four, four out of the 55 tickets. Uh, I think most of them, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, is it expired um, tags? Is that right? That's your biggest one, yeah. The, um, there have been 15 of those that have been paid so far. Um, oh. So a regular ticket is 35 bucks. Is that correct, Kevin? Yeah, yes. Your and, first uh, offense. Tags are 55, 75? 100. 100. Man. That's per no. the Colorado model traffic code. Okay, there's nothing we can do about it. I I hate that fee, but that's okay. Okay, I'm I'm still a little confused. He's saying you need to put your stickers on your license plate as soon as you pay for them. Yeah, exactly. But and but even most if, of the tickets, they, most of the tickets that were that are written in the laws are not for people who refuse to pay or don't pay. Don't don't Correct. pay to park. Correct. So only four out of fifty-five tickets were for people who did not pay at the lot. No, those were um, people that paid those tickets. So the registration tickets you have, I'm going through them right now. I'll count aloud one. Can I ask a question, Kevin? Nine, yeah. Are they checking both at the same time? Um, yes. If they paid and if yep. uh, and they're looking at their tags? Yes. So 12 of those, 12 of the 23 tickets in the Schmishney lot were for the registration. One boot fee was paid, and that's an additional $100 because we did have a boot in the lot earlier this uh, in September. The rest of the tickets were for expired meter. Oh, it's an expired meter. It, it's, it's expired, so it's either expired or you didn't pay. That's how the ticket is in our system. It's just oh. listed as expired meter. Okay. So they could have paid for four hours and stayed five. Is that right? Possibilities there, Larry. They they can't differ difference uh, be, be, between the two. It sounds like uh, it's under the okay. same code, correct, Kevin? Uh, so, so at, at the, the so, what I'm trying to get at is 
half the violations in the Wichita lot had nothing to do with our lot. Correct. Nope. Yep. Okay. Okay. And I guess there's All no right. way around that, Larry. I guess we have to do that. Oh no, no, that no, that's fine. I I just was curious. Yeah. Uh, and I, more than curious, I really wanted to know what what the percentage was that directly affected us. Yeah. And, and it's only half. Kevin, even those tickets are going to the metro if they're in our lots for the for the tags, or is that a city kind of thing? I'm sorry, you're showing me my internet. It looks like he's having problems with his internet. He's catching up. Kevin, can you hear me now? Yeah. Um, my question was about those um tickets for the tags um uh those those are going if it's in the wichita it is going to the metro or is as, that as a... far as i know all citation revenue for those lots go back to the metro district nicole can confirm okay all right uh any other questions larry rolf discussion you guys good uh good um just our revenues same as last year this last month, so uh, yeah, little, Joe's doing a little better. Little up, I think. Yep. If I remember but good, I looked a couple hours ago. Yep. Virtually the same, but yeah. Um, I'm good on the report, Kevin. Thank you. I just uh, question about. So last month, I believe we we approved the striping, um, you know, and and at the lot and stuff. Um, I believe you said you're gonna tell me how much more the Smishni lot is, and I don't think I got an answer on that. Um, do you have a quote? Did you did they give you a quote, or was that number for both lots? No, nope, they gave me a separate quote for that. I'm pulling it right now. So minus the striping. Uh thirty two hundred dollars to do the smishing lot. Okay. And that's uh ceiling and uh basically uh ceiling and then restriping later on, correct? They will seal it. Um so Wichita <clears throat> excuse me. Wichita is scheduled for Monday and Tuesday, sixteen and seventeen. Oh, wow. And Schmishny is scheduled for 21 and 22 next Saturday and Sunday. They will seal coat day one, let that set, be in half the day the second day, lay the paint. We're ready to open at noon. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks no for taking care of that, Kevin. Absolutely. Not a problem at all. Um, I believe we proved it for both uh, last time. Um, I, I think the price is uh, just fine. Um, I don't think we should have a problem with that. Um, any, anything else for uh, Kevin? Kevin, the proposals that you gave me were, you have one for 11,000. Was that for the same thing? No, uh, the Smishy lot total um, but like I said, the city will be covering the striping on that per the IGA is thirty-seven ninety-six, and the total for Wichita, it, that's the eleven thousand five hundred and thirty-two. But we will right. cover the striping, so yeah. that total for Metro will come to about fourteen or fifteen. Yeah, that's what I have. So uh, ten thousand even for the met for the Wichita lot. Uh, so just a little over 1300 Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. Hi, Juan. How you doing? Well, well. Thanks for joining us. Good to have it's you over. here. All right. Everybody's good on the reports? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do we want to approve them? Yeah, I'll make a motion that we approve the finance report and the parking report. Is I'll there second. a second? I will second. Thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 Aye.
that will be three to zero. Okay, uh, new business, um, alternative charge process for the parking lot. Uh, Larry, you got something to uh, educate us on? Yes, uh, I was curious about uh, SP Plus's uh, operation next door to us at the at the uh, stagecoach. I was curious how that worked and what it was about. So I called SP Plus and uh, asked them how that worked. And and basically how it works is a person pulls in there, takes a picture of the QR co code, and uh, then pays for the parking right off the QR co code. They don't have to download an app. They uh, pay the pay to park right then and there. And uh, so that sounded pretty simple. But what I got to looking at, uh, oh, and that when, so when I asked about what does that cost us to do that, the answer was nothing. Nothing. It doesn't cost us at all. The person who is who is parking then gets charged ninety nine cents to use the SP plus. Uh, we get all the money. If we charge $2 an hour, we get all $2. So I got to thinking about that. Right now in our budget, we're budgeting 20,000 a year for internet connection. In this case, the person who has the phone is paying the internet connection or they're getting it for free. Uh, that saves us $20,000. Next year, I think we budgeted $35,000 for that same internet connection. With this system of SP Plus, you don't pay any of that. Bank okay. charges. Ba bank charges. We pay, this year, we've got $24,000 in bank charges. In this system with SP Plus, there are no bank charges. They write you a check once a month. I like uh, it. Go ahead. What? I I I said I like it. Um, so right there, off the top of my head, there's a forty-five thousand, forty-four thousand dollar savings. We pay the city probably twenty thousand a year to collect our money. You know, I, we're we're paying them fifty-three thousand for the whole thing next year. But probably, I'm betting 20000 of that is, you know, all the book work that they do on collecting the money and and uh, uh, keeping track of it. We're paying wages of about 70000 a year. Uh, we could keep, we could, we could move to this system, save ourselves 50000 plus a year. We could not have any any employees at all and save ourselves over 130,000 a year. Okay. There, this is, this is just a, 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 what I've intended to do today was just to give you a brief overview of what this system entails and what it could save us from what we're currently doing. And if the board is interested, then I would have a representative from SP Plus make a formal presentation. Because I'm, I'm not prepared to do all of that and answer all the questions. But when I looked at it, I thought, gosh, of what, what we're talking about putting new kiosk in at a, at a huge cost. We don't need any of that if we don't want it. So if I could interject, I, Larry. Yes. A former employee of SP Plus, they'll tell you what yes. you want to hear to get the business. There is going to be back-end fees, just as there is with the city. Somebody's going to have to go through your books. Somebody's going to have to write the checks. Um, if you're looking at enforcement side of it, they will have to send enforcement out here. That will cost money. I'm not sure yes. how they're going to do it, but 
I, I was an SP plus employee. So yeah. I kind of, I kind of have an idea of how that works on the back end a little bit. Um, just putting it out there, not trying to sway any decision, just letting you know that I kind of have a, a knowledge of how they work and there will be a fee. Yes. No, I, I got both eyes open about that. Okay. What I'm looking at is if we did not have employees, we've got a savings of uh, over $130,000. Now, is, is this going to cost us some more money here, like you say, in enforcement uh, and that, that sort of thing? Absolutely. What I'm looking at to start with is we have an enormous, when, when we pay $20,000 a year for internet, we pay $24,000 a year just to collect our own money. That's, uh, I'm a business person. <laughs> we, we take in, what do we take in? Not quite 300000 a year, and it costs us 150000 to collect that? <laughs> uh, I, I, I yeah, think let, we can we... hear some more uh, from SP+. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be happy to hear a presentation from somebody. It's not going to cost us anything. They can just show up and... Uh, and uh, explain exactly everything. And then if we have questions, uh, you know, hidden fees, anything like that, he'll he'll be on the spot and he'll tell us. I, I would, I'll say yes, I wanna hear some more. Okay, Rolf, Rolf? what's your feeling yeah, about I, this? We have nothing to fear about getting more information about that. And um, yeah, I, I have no problem with that. I. I it's very premature to be, uh, you know, worried about us leaving the city, but um, we definitely could hear about it and getting best practices from them to hear them again. You used to have to sit through those meetings with them before years ago um, and, and see what they have. And uh, it's, sure, it's to get more information and uh, we could all listen to that and uh, to, to get free information from them. Of course, it would have to be incredible for us to to make a switch, but I want to hear more. And um, sure, do it. Okay, a great idea. And, okay. and Kevin, I, I made this little presentation with both eyes open, knowing that you're a former SP Plus employee, <laughs> and you may uh, play a integral part of a devil's advocate, so to speak. Uh, yeah. So I, I absolutely appreciate any insight you can give us into SP+. Plus. Okay. Yeah. Um, and also on that note, Juan and I have been working on updating our signage to QR codes. They were shipped today. Um, we did order for your guys' lots as well. We could eliminate the kiosk and that internet connection with the new signage that we've ordered and we'll begin installing as soon as it arrives. Really? Yeah. 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 That was one. Of, tell was me one more. Of, tell me more about that. So we use um, it's through the same company that provides the kiosks. It's called Text to Pay. Uh, right now, there is signage in the parking lots, but it is a text code. Juan and I had discussed switching it over to a QR code just for easy use. It's a little quicker. We placed the order. I got confirmation today. The order is done and it's shipping today. Uh, they're coming out of Arizona, so we should have them early next week. And as soon as they get here, we're going to start replacing. This is replacing all of the signs throughout town for parking. Um, it will eliminate those long wait lines at the kiosks. We're going to strategically well, place them not, throughout the. You're not eliminating the kiosk, is that correct? Correct. Yeah, that would the... be a that would be a board decision to do, but it will be an alternate payment method. Yeah, Kevin, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, Shami. So that, that was one of my the, one of the things that I wanted to bring forward to the table um, when I came on board to add a uh, QR code. Um, another thing, another thing, uh, like uh, some of the residential areas, where, like let's just say in El Paso, that's a that's an idea to uh, also in the long term, since we're making this like a walkable, uh, bikeable city, to eventually start facing now a lot of these pay stations with uh, QR codes because that's the direction everybody's going to. Uh, we get, we're going to start slowly on uh, some of those areas and start, start removing some of those pay stations and, uh, and just adding more QR codes because that's what people are, are, are used to. Um, we also see there's also like right now since we have a shortage of staff, um, 
Another thing that we're working on is a uh, fixed LPR parking enforcement. So, um, because I know we're not hitting those lots as much as we need to. Um, so that's gonna be another uh, item that we're working on, you know, to uh, generate uh, more revenue on the other end. Hmm. Okay, so eventually those, uh, eventually those kiosks are um, anticipated to be removed, Juan? In, in the in like the dead areas and those so the idea is to have them in the busy areas but in areas where it's not you know where you have very slow transient those are the areas where we plan on putting the uh, keyword codes and removing those pay stations and maybe allocating them in like busier areas where we have very heavy traffic um so, let me go ahead larry let me ask you about how Using in this system that you're going to put in, using those QR codes, how does that affect our internet connection and our bank charges? It, it does it because it's through the phone that they're uh, scanning that QR code. So as long as you have the kiosks in the parking lots and they're being used, there will be that internet connection. If it we will... remove them? No, no, but if I, if I eliminated the kiosk, and went straight to what you guys are your the QR codes. What does that do? That will eliminate. Go ahead. That will eliminate the uh, internet connection, and that could eliminate the bank charges because it's already going into a merchant account. Mm -hmm. So it would eliminate those. The cash and coin okay, is where those the bank were, charges are. Those were two of my big complaints there. Well, I yeah, that's uh, twenty. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm confused on how the credit card companies are not going to charge us for them. They're they're going to charge the person that they, actually parks, Nicole. Because there, there is a processing fee that they still have to that they're still responsible for um, on the back end. Okay. okay. On the credit card hey, fees, Nicole, are, if I have you, um, that, as far as uh, them scanning the QR code, there's. They don't have to worry about any internet connection or anything like that that's related to it. And Shimmy's correct. They can we can set it up to where the user will pay a service fee and that will cover the transaction fee. Wow. Yeah, it's getting more and more common at the moment. Um, it's been it's been two or three years now that this idea is out. Um, I'm I'm just saying it as a merchant, as a business owner. I did not like the idea before. Uh, it's almost like you're cheating, um, but but it's but it's not. You know, when when you I haven't done it yet, but starting to think about it, you you uh, give the customer a price for cash, and then you give the customer if he doesn't want to pay cash, he uh, can pay with a credit card. But it's it's got that three percent or two and a half percent on right. added to it. Yeah. Um, so For he chooses if he wants to like do it or not. Really you know, if he doesn't like it, he can pay cash. Yeah, we really want people to pay by their credit card because it's so much easier than handling cash. And it's a huge time saver for staff. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so Kevin, Kevin if, if I understand what you're saying, you're in effect offering the same thing as SP+. Plus. Is, that in, in my, is that a fair assessment? Yes. We already offer the service now, but it's a text to pay. So you have to start a new text message. Juan yeah. had the idea to move it over to the QR code and they were able to do that for us. So we've got the new signage coming and it will take you directly to pay the park. It talks right to our enforcement system. Everything's looking good to go. Can you make us a, a formal presentation of this to the, to the board? Where we could eliminate the kiosk altogether? Yeah, I can do that for next month if you'd like. I'm for it. I'm um, all for it. Absolutely. I mean, in a, I brought this thing up because of what I saw in a, from a financial standpoint. And if if you can offer the same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can, I can help prepare that because that, that's what I've been working with uh, outside, you know, with other city agencies uh, and other municipalities uh, with the QR code. Uh, go to restaurants, that's what, that's what everybody's using now. So a lot of people are from out, especially we, because this is a tourist uh, city, uh, they're used to it. 
Right. And, well, I agree. And it's to one point. Friendly. They don't have to register, download an app. It just takes them directly to right. the payment options. So, yeah, right. we can prefer that for you for uh, for next month. And to uh -huh. one's point, that's why we dropped Park Mobile, because people didn't want to download an app, and we moved to the text to pay. Okay. Yeah, the text to pay, though, to me, is a bit cumbersome, whereas the QR code is... is yeah, it'll, uh, it'll take you directly to... Um, actually, while you guys are chatting, I can start a session and show you what it would actually look like. Cool. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I'd like to hold off on having a presentation from SP+. Plus. And first of all, here a presentation from uh, Juan and uh, Kevin. We yes. can have them both at the same time. Competition is good. <laughs> well, hi. Okay, if you want me to do that, I'll. I'll the only. That up for next... The only reason I want to talk to SP Plus, to be honest, probably ninety percent sure, is just to get more information from them. Okay. I mean, they they're we've dealt with them for years and years, and boy, they had some goofy ideas. I mean, we were we were just um, days away from they were going to put holes in every in every single spot and put little sensors. They were going to do all this crazy stuff, and they were telling us it's the best thing. Then the next meeting, they tell us, "Oh, we're not going to do that now. It's dated." You know, I I don't necessarily getting some okay. information. They're the big dogs in the country, I think. I mean, so getting information from them, we can all learn from that. And use well, it. not anymore. Now, now it's on uh, Metropolis. They just bought them out for one point nine billion dollars. So wow! Now yeah. Metropolis is a big powerhouse now. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, it, it doesn't matter. But I, I sure, Blair, you sure well, brought up some I'm, great points on this. So I didn't even dream of getting rid of the kiosk ever. But I'm thinking maybe we might, maybe. Okay, well, the question comes back to, would you want both of them here in one meeting, or would you want one presentation one month and another one the next month? Uh, separate, definitely. That's yeah. too much, That's, too much. The meeting should be way too long. I agree. I, I agree. Just, I would, one I would at prefer a time. to hear from Kevin and, and yeah. uh, Juan to begin with. I'll uh, be nice and agree if, with you. If, again. if everybody else is in agreement with that. Yeah, I don't want them both. Yeah, no, no, no. That's fine. If um, if Kevin and uh, Juan are um, sure they're going to be ready uh, for next month, uh, I'd love to have the city first. Okay. okay. We can okay. have it ready. All right, cool. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. So just, just to make it clear, um, I'm looking at the budget and... Uh, we have an internet connection at about 13,500, 13,500 uh, budget 20, for this year. I'm sorry, Larry? Uh, for, well, we budgeted 20,000 for next year, or we had budgeted 20,000 for this year. Yeah, and the bank charges are at about 24,000. Nicole, can, so, can you me... explain um, how $24,000 is the Bank charges, is that for the credit card fees? Yes, that is all credit card fees. You got it. Okay, understood. Yeah. See, and I remember incredible. the kiosk, so, if I'm money. not mistaken. So really, so really, if you're having other people pay for the you, the credit card fees, then it's just a difference of, are you going to charge them up front or are you going to charge them behind? Because it's it, it affects your revenue either way. Yep. It was my understanding with SP+, Plus. There are no credit card charges. I understand that. So your customer is getting charged up front. What the customer pays ninety nine cents. Yes, is my that's my understanding. I we understand it the same way. I'm just saying okay. we we are charging the customer for those fees right now. When we say you can park here for four dollars for half a day, you have to think of it in that context. So right now, if I'm in retail sales, I know that there's going to be an additional charge if they're putting it on a credit card. And I build that into how much I'm charging for an item. Right. So another example, if you want to pay your ticket online, 
we charge you up front three dollars and fifty cents. So that goes to the uh, the service for the credit card fees, and that's also uh, part of that's also a convenience fee. Now, yep. if we you did take, not take do it that, up front. right? If we did not do that, at the end, we would only be getting paid for a thirty-five dollar ticket. We'd only be receiving thirty-two fifty. Correct. So yep. that if you charge it up front, that's how you get paid whole. Just another way to look at it. I'll I'll be quiet now. No, no, it was it was it was a good explanation. It was a good explanation. Um, all Thanks, right. So <laughs> I don't think we need to make a motion on it. I mean, we're um, or do we? Do, did you guys wanna? No, no. I, I'm good no. with. Uh, okay, I mean, put it on the agenda next month and yeah. see okay. what it looks like. Okay. All right, we're going to have that on the agenda next uh, month. Thank you, uh, Kevin and Juan, for preparing it for next month. We appreciate it. And uh, let's just say that uh, in December meeting, uh, if needed, we're going to have a SP Plus representative um, talking to us as well. Okay. Yeah, fine. Okay, any more questions about um, alternative uh charge process for the parking lot or are we good sounds like we're good uh chamber of commerce parking request for additional spaces um this is um you know after last month jenna gallus was here from the chamber and asked for um some spaces at the wichita lot uh we approved it um she forgot to mention um one thing she requested 10 um, handicap spaces at the Smishni lot. Um, uh, she specifically asked for the Smishni lot. I guess it's uh, easier to have access over there because of the chaos next to Wichita with all the coffin races and stuff. Um, so uh, she did request 10 spots over there they need it specifically for handicap. Uh, now we don't have 10 handicaps over there, handicap uh, parking spaces over there. Um, she suggested if we approve, um, uh, which I think we should, um, that she will contact Kevin and maybe Kevin will uh, help her or maybe put some cones over there. And those 10 spots will be specifically saved for uh, handicapped people. Um, that's that's the review on that. Um, what do you guys think? So this is an additional 10 and we're being compensated. What was it per space? Five dollars? Um, I forgot. And this you know, is I, just don't, an... I don't remember exactly. $8 but per day, guys. It... OK, eight dollars a day. Call? So she said eight dollars. OK. So, yeah, if it's. Okay, they're going to just do an yeah. additional eight there and yeah. then compensate us at 10 at the $8. The only thing you need to consider is we don't charge handicapped people to that. That's correct. Food. And I don't I don't think we should anyway. Um, I mean, 80 bucks is not going to make us richer or poorer. Um, no. in, in, in my opinion, um, I, since it's I would handicapped. Say, yes, let's let's do what they're requesting. Okay, yeah. Rolf. I agree. I'll make a motion to approve 10 uh, handicap spaces at uh, the Smishni lot for the Chamber of Commerce for um, additional spaces for the uh, coffin races. Is there I'll a second? second? That. that was Larry. No. All, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. That will be three to zero. Thank you, guys. Um, okay. any, dis any discussion? Uh, I did want to add on the lot work that's being done. We are going to honor all your permit holders for on street during those days. Thank you. That way, they're not out of a parking space. Thank you. Oh, are you oh. are, are are you guys putting uh, notices, Kevin? Um, like maybe two we're days gonna, before, forty eight yes, hours before, uh, or something so like that. Tomorrow, we're going to get flyers out to all the permit holders on their windshields, letting them know where to park when the lot work's being done. And I'm also tomorrow going to get some large sign, temporary signage printed up, and we're going to put them on 
uh, both entrances of the Wichita lot, and then we'll move it down to the Schmishy lot when that work's taking place uh, the weekend after. Okay, thank you. Um, just my thought, but maybe some of them are not going to park because, you know, not always you're going to see the same cars. What happens then? Um, is, is that for is that the one up front basically telling them about it? Yep. So that's why we're going to cover both entrances to the Wichita lot as well. Um, I did do 100 flyers for all the permit holders. There's only 60 something permits out for Wichita lot right now. So we're just going to continue to hit those until we're out. Make sure they're well aware of what's going on. Thank you. If you need help uh, distributing those, just let me know. I'll walk with you or, you know, I can meet you over there if you need help. Okay. Yeah, I'd really hate at, to tow at, a car because they lots. missed the flyer. Okay. All right. Um, and are you going to be able to help uh, Jenna with those uh, handicap spaces or, you know, cones, I believe it's going to be? Um, yep. We're doing all the cones for the coffin race, so we'll just add them to our list. Is it okay if I'll have her contact you? Yep, that's perfect. Thank you. Um, discussion or public comment? I don't think we have public with us. No, All no right. Public. All right. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Take care. Take care. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.